About three weeks ago, I took cuttings from my lemon tree and planted them up. Let's see what we get. Before we can get started, I need to make some pots. So let me show you my favorite method for making new pots. And that's taking a yogurt cup and popping three holes into it. And as you can see, I've got some new pots here and I've also kept them out of the landfill. So let's grab our cuttings here and unwrap them. They've been in this pot for about three weeks. Uh, typically you leave your cuttings in this uh, particular configuration for roughly three to six weeks and give it time for the roots to develop. Just going through and looking at it really carefully. And, it, and I'm pointing out right here, it's uh, new growth right there. You can see new growth and whenever you see that, it means that the plant has decided to put its energy into uh, growing new branches, new leaves, uh, which often means that you will not see roots from those particular plants. It's not always the case, but more often than not, the cutting has made the decision to um, grow uh, new leaves, new branches, instead of uh, developing its root system. So let's uh, tease these roots out. Um, I'm just using a little chopstick or just a little stick to move the soil out of the way and I'm just checking to see if there's any roots here. I'm going to pull it out and there's no roots. So we'll scratch around again and whoa right there, right there is a root. So I know one of these cuttings has a root system. We'll just dig around carefully loosening up the soil so that we can pull out that cutting and wow look at that root system let me just get this thing to focus really quickly you can see that this particular cutting here has produced really nice roots really vigorous roots and we're gonna pot this up when you go to pot up your uh, cutting you want to use a soil that is high in moisture retention so uh, coconut coir or a peat moss mix is something that you would want to use. I didn't have any of those on hand so what I did was I had reclaimed a pot a couple days ago and this pot had a massive root system in it and whenever you see that you want to save that pot and you want to save the soil in that pot because those roots that are in that pot actually act as peat moss for moisture retention and so I hadn't watered this particular patch of dirt that you see here you see me working with uh, for a couple days but it's still damp and that's exactly what you want whenever you're doing a cutting is you want a soil that will hold in moisture or lock in that moisture let's bring the pot back and I'll pull this one out because the soil is loose I've got a small little root on this guy it's nothing really major so I'm gonna put him back if I don't get anything else I'll uh, I'll end up potting him up and we'll scratch around and we'll pull this guy out and there's no root on this guy whenever you're doing this you'll have a 50 50 chance at uh, your cutting taking root that's roughly the odds sometimes it's a little less sometimes it's a little more um, even if it does take root uh, you want vigorous growth before you pot it up I'm just scratching around here and this one actually has a really healthy root system you can see here this is what I mean by vigorous growth you can see that's a nice root so we're gonna end up potting up this guy and there we go he's all potted up nice and snug in his pot when you go to pot you want to uh, pot up roughly uh, a quarter inch to about a half an inch up the stem to uh, support the plant in its new pot and that's all that's really required we're gonna scratch around some more and see if we can get another one I'm gonna loosen up the soil and pull this one out and there's no roots on this cutting strike and a miss Let's go back in and dig around some more and see if we can't get another one. I'm poking around, I'm loosening up the soil, moving it around because I can feel something um, on this cutting here. 
being very, very careful because I don't want to break the roots. This is very important whenever you're doing this. Whenever you're repotting your cuttings, you don't want to break the roots. And wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that root. My goodness. That is such a beauty. Let's go ahead and pot this guy up. I've added a little backfill into the pot and now it's time to pot the plant or the cutting. And again, I'm just uh, planting it roughly a quarter inch to keep the stem supported. And I'm tamping down and removing most of these, uh, most of these uh, roots from the old plant. And there we go. This plant is now potted up. So we're back to our pot with all our cuttings in it. We're almost done. Uh, I just want to show you this particular one right here because this one's kind of important. I've saved the best for last if you can't tell. I'm carefully removing this particular cutting because I pulled up on it and I noticed a little bit of resistance which is an indicator that roots have grown. This again is really rare. You normally don't see this. So I'm carefully teasing out those roots, removing the soil around it so that I can pull this out. <laughs> and look at that. Look at those beautiful roots on this cutting right here. This is extremely rare. We don't normally see this where we have new growth on top as well as root development on the bottom. This is a very, very healthy cutting and we want to keep this cutting. This is probably the best cutting out of the entire lot. You can see here that this one, this one also has um, root development. So that's a very, very good cutting as well. And this one right here, not so good. Uh, the roots have not developed as well. You can see these two right here have not uh, grown roots. And I just, I'm pointing specifically at new growth and illustrating that most of the time when you have new growth on top, you will not get root development on the bottom. I've removed all the cuttings out of our starter pot and I'm going to put our best cutting into this pot or back into this pot. And that's mainly because this pot is significantly larger than the yogurt cup and this particular cutting that's done so well really deserves a nice big pot to start growing into. For the record, you don't need to use yogurt cups. You could just use regular four inch pots or I think these are like four and a half inch pots and you can plant directly uh, into the four and a half inch pots. I just have a lot of yogurt cups on hand and so I tend to use those more often. Uh, same process as before when we did the starter, we're gonna put two chopsticks on the side and that will keep the bag from collapsing onto the plant itself. We've got the rubber band on the bottom and we're gonna put a bag over this and then rubber band the bottom of it to create a little greenhouse. And we'll do this for all the plants that we've potted up. The final step is to take our newly potted plants and put them on a windowsill with morning light. Remember to give them a good drink of water and bag them up to create a little mini greenhouse. In about two to three months, you'll start to see new growth and you can either upgrade their pots or you can start hardening them off outside. So here's the final score. We've got five brand new lemon trees started from cuttings. In about two to three years from now, they'll be producing fruit, which is outstanding. If you've ever done this before, comment below. If you know a faster way of doing this, I'd like to hear about it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.